And from time to time, you'll hear me say, does that make sense? Here's why I say that. My dad was a diesel truck mechanic. He had a real job all of his life, unlike what I do for a living. And prior to starting this 20 plus years ago, I spent the last five years, I actually spent nine years working for the state of Texas in the psychiatric hospitals. In the last five years, I did a startup. I was an administrator in a startup that uh, for children and adolescent facility, uh, we opened up from the ground zero. We got joint, full joint accreditation, uh, joint commission accreditation in two years. We did the whole thing. We were completely accredited. So I called up my dad and said, I'm going to become a consultant. And my dad said, what's a consultant? So I tried to explain it to him. And he said, you know, don't do it. And I think if you'd ask him why, he would have said three reasons. First off, he didn't understand it. Second, he, didn't, he couldn't explain it to the guys he drank coffee with every morning at the Royal Drive-In on Wesley Street in Greenville, Texas. And the third reason, and probably most important, he was pretty sure that I was gonna lose all my money and that after I lost all my money, I'd be moving home with him, right? So after a couple of months, I'd call him from wherever I was on the road. I would uh, go home periodically and take he and my mother out to eat at McDonald's so they know I could really afford to eat balanced meals and stuff. He said, send me some information about what you do. So I did. I just sent him everything. And the next time I was home, we were sitting across the kitchen table from each other, having a conversation and a cup of coffee. And he said, well, I've read all the information that you sent and I only have one question. I'm like, my chance to impress my dad. He said, let me get this straight. They pay you to do this? And I said, yep, they do. This is a wonderful country. And he said, no, it just seems like common sense. I said, guess what, Pop? You broke the code. Most of the things about leadership, about change, whether we're talking about leading change or leading any other thing, really are just common sense. However, have you ever noticed when it comes to organizations that we rarely allow common sense to get in the way of doing something that we think we want to do? So my challenge for you this afternoon as we think about leading change is that you don't forget the common sense aspect of it.